Hello, this is Marissa with the Art of Ecology and today we are going to be making marigold margaritas. Um, marigolds are an amazing plant. So unfortunately for foraging methods, these aren't native to this area. If you are living in Mexico and south of that Central American border, then you would find these growing wild. However, these are one of the best garden and companion plants. I highly recommend, even if you are doing urban gardening, that you plant marigolds. So marigolds in a garden are going to keep away pest insects like nematodes that live here in the soil. They also can repel like mosquitoes. And they do also attract beneficial insects like bees and ladybugs that are going to be eating aphids in the garden. So these are definitely a great, great companion plant to have in the garden. I highly recommend it. But what, what do we do when the flowers kind of start to, kind of start to fade? They don't have as much of their benefit in a garden anymore. One thing that we can do is we can make simple syrup out of them and when we have that we can make delicious margaritas. These are kind of known as the day of the dead flower. The marigolds represent the sun and it's said that when the, the marigold flowers are put out that they kind of guide the spirits and the ancestors back. So these are going to be very common in drinks around that time of year. So today we are going to be harvesting the flowers and you are going to want to get right in there. We are going to want to pick the petals and where this gets swollen, we're also going to want to pick that. That's going to be where a lot of the good flavor is for our simple syrup. So pick a couple of them and keep in mind that you're also going to want, you know, some petals for a garnish. So pick a couple extra flowers for that. But keep in mind that if we are making simple syrup, you're going to need about a cup or so of flowers. Mm, and then take a sniff of them. They actually sniff really good. Yum. Yeah, they do sniff pretty good. So pick a couple of them. So now these are cultivated. If these are in your garden, these are cultivated for you, by you. So while we do want to attract lots of bees and beneficial insects to the garden that are gonna help um, as kind of like biological control for the pest insects, that way we can keep a garden organic and natural. Um, you planted these, so you can harvest as many as you want. Let's be real. Again, as a conscientious gardener, you still probably want to leave a, a couple of them so that you still attract those beneficial insects. Stay tuned for more upcoming in-person and virtual events on my website at www.theartofecology.com. You can also learn more about wild edibles, gardening, foraging for your own wonderful flowers and more on my blog here. And don't forget to snag a photo print or gift at my shop. A portion of all proceeds is donated back to wildlife conservation and habitat preservation efforts. Thank you so much for all of your support and now back to my program. So now that you have your marigolds that you've harvested and forged and you've turned these guys into your simple syrup, it's time to start making our marigold margarita. You're going to want ice in your shaker. You don't want to put ice in the drink that kind of dilutes the flavor, but you want the cocktail to be chilled. We need tequila. Any good margarita has. You're going to want two ounces of tequila. Half an ounce of simple syrup. Nice. 
that is your marigold simple syrup. And then an ounce of lime. And now, I have some extra lime here. I'm just gonna stick my finger in. And if I had lime wedges, that'd be easy, but I'm going to do the edge of the glass here in lime juice. If you have a lime wedge, that's a lot easier just to run it around the rim. That's going to be how we adhere the salt to it. You. Shake, 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 shake. Again, weird faces are okay. Now, again, with any good margarita, we need salt. We need to line the rim with salt. So I'm gonna pour my salt onto my plate. And with your lined rim. Now, take a couple petals. I like petals. And then that's it. Really easy. Oh, that's salty. <laughs> Maybe less salt. But the drink is good. And that's the point, right? Looking for more recipes or more of my Trails to Tasting series? You can subscribe over here and stay tuned for even more wonderful Art of Ecology goodness. Wow, that's so salty.